we're gonna pretend I did not upload the wrong version. And I need to make sure the actual version's up because Isla worked really hard on that and I screwed it up. We're gonna make sure Isla does not ever see that video because Isla will not let me live that down. But hello everyone, thank you all so much for being here. Um, this is going to legitimately be a chill stream because I can't actually be angry because voice. Um, but also, hi Esty, hi Peyton, hi Vijayo, hi Shiro, hi Martin, hi Octavia, hello Marine, Black Flame, Elias. Um, yeah, let's let's talk about my song. Um, so, where do we start with this? Uh, my volume's really low. Thank you. Let me turn myself up. Um, is that a little bit better? Uh, turn it up a bit more. So, I I will will be furious. Um, we're just gonna nuke this video right now. Um, because I listen like Judy. I cannot. And I'll be like I can't either. Um, my bad. I cranked myself up all the way. Um, but yeah, I th um I think let's give it a couple seconds so you all can like get situated. Um, good. Okay. Um, yeah, let's talk about the song first. Also, thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, so the song, I uh, it's clearly has a lot of feels. I also want to clarify that this is not a breakup song. Um, this song is very much about uh, me thinking about the relationships that I've had. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, so yeah, let me let me explain what the song is about. Um, I am in a season of my life where I am reevaluating the friendships that I have. And this is not to say, like this is not about any specific people. It's like, this is just in general. I'm in a season of life where people are not immediately close to me. And so like when you're in college, when you're in high school, when you're in like any kind of space where you're consistently seeing people, um, you generally can build better connection with them. But in other ways, just time happens and you fall apart from people. So like some of the friends that I've had from high school, some of the friends that I've had from college, some of the friends that I've had in my master's program, like those friends just fall apart. It's not because, um, it's not because I don't like them. It's not because of any particular reason, just life happens. Uh, and I wanted to write a song about that. I think also the song is very timely. Actually, I should probably be playing the song in the background instead of my BGM. Um, let me get the song out. But um, I wanted this song also to capture, I thought it was also very relevant to what's going on in the VTubing sphere right now. Uh, currently, we see a lot of folks um, graduating, leaving, um, and like even some of our favorite Oshis and some of the talents that we follow, they just disappear. It's, it's not that like you don't know where they went, it's just life happens. Uh, even like as a streamer, there are state names that I don't see anymore in chat. And I truly do wonder where they went. Um, and it's not like I'm upset with them. It's just, I'm curious where they are now. And it's not like I'm upset with you, uh, anything. It's truly like, where'd you go? <laughs> I would laugh. I really would laugh, but I can't laugh right now. It hurts. Um, and so because of um, such feelings is like, I, I hope that you found somewhere to go. Um, so really though, when I was writing this, this took me, this actually took me, I wrote this in an hour. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so surprised that I wrote this in an hour. Um, yeah, I, I wrote this whole thing in an hour, which I kind of, I'm kind of shocked that I did it still. Um, let me, let me get this loaded up first. Uh, my apologies. Let me get the song uploaded. I did not. I'm sorry. I was working on stuff. Um... Should have came prepared. I screwed everything up today. Wow. Junie. Gotta do better. Gotta do better. Um, one second. My local files are not responding. Um. Is this, is it? Oh, nope. MV. That one. Okay. And I want this loot. Okay. Trini BGM, where are you now? Eh? Is it playing? Oh. So, okay, yeah, yeah, it's playing. Cool. Um, 
It's probably too loud though. Let me uh, fix that. Don't know why it's not popping. Oh, I know why. I know why. I added it on the wrong scene. Oopsies. Oopsies. Let me add it on this scene really quickly. Um. And then I'm not sure how loud this is, though. Uh, I can't see. Hold on one second. Oh, my God. I should have done this earlier. My apologies. Um, yeah, it's been a little slow. Um, but yeah, I, I wrote the whole song in an hour. Basically, uh, what happened was sometimes when I start... So uh, I do a lot of academic writing. Um, but sometimes there's like... I just need to process feelings. Uh, so as much as Isla and I joke that I don't actually process my feelings very often, I actually take a lot of time to process how I'm feeling and to think and reflect. Uh, part of it is because it's part of my work that I do. Uh, but the other reason is I think it's really important that we stop and reflect. So this whole song is a moment for me to reflect and sit on how I'm feeling. Uh, one second, I'm going to turn studio mode off. Over time we made a way Holy God. Okay. There we go. Um, so they should be playing in the background. Uh, so yes, this song did come out in an hour. Basically, um, I have a couple of other projects going and I had, and I wanted to get something out there to work through my feelings. So I just kind of started playing, um, but I also wanted, um, I wanted a song that I could belt. So I was working on uh, I was working on this when I was working through the Chinese ballad. And the Chinese ballad, while I was able to belt the feelings that I wanted, um, I wasn't able to really get all of the feelings that I wanted out there through that song. Uh, the song is about romantic relationships and not platonic relationships. And what I really wanted from this whole song was to sing about platonic relationships. Again, I think this song can easily be used for a breakup song. Like I am like, I, I can, when I wrote parts of the song, I was thinking very much about um, like past relationships. And even in those breakups, it's not that I wanted the worst for that person. I really wanted them to be happy. And I do keep up, I try to keep up with them. And while I do joke about, oh, I hope I'm doing better, um, I do genuinely want them to be happy. And for everyone else here, I would like them to be happy with where they are in their life, with what they're doing. And so I didn't really find a lot of songs that did that a lot. Um, so I really just wrote out the feelings. Uh, the, like the first couple of stanzas, like we were there together from the beginning. Through it all, we always found a way. Like that's very much like any typical relationship. Um, one day as we made a way, it all fell apart. And I will say, it. this one is very specific to... I did pull a lot of my experiences, and I'll leave that there. Um, like, uh, it's it's a lot of processing through what we have been through a generator as, as Codex. And I think... Um, I did not write this song with the other two songs in mind. But when you take Breakout, when you take Believers, um, the songs actually go together very, very well. Um, if you think about all three songs together, they are very different ways of working through how, how Isla and I have navigated the past year. Um, yeah, how we're processing and how we're working through it. Um, very much, if you look at Believers and where, um, where are you now, it's very much the same side. It's two sides of the same coin with how we work through it. Like, I I will say, like, as I was trying to think through how to talk about this song, uh, it takes a lot of energy for me to actually be angry with people. So, like, to actively be upset with someone, I, I don't do that because it's just, it's way too much work for me. Uh, you don't, personally, I don't want someone, I don't want to be angry with someone and have them taking that much bandwidth of my brain. That is not productive for me. That's not productive for them. And um, actually, it doesn't even affect them, really. It's just affecting me. So, like, 
even if it is out of a place of frustration, like why on earth am I going to let them take that much bandwidth? Um, so as I wrote the song, um, or like as, as someone who's working through these feelings, it's very much, it is what it is. Like, it, like this is not a copium thing, but life happens. Like opportunities present themselves. Time happens. Everything happens. Uh, I'm not going to say everything happens for a reason because I think there are unexplicable things in the world, but uh, things happen and we move on and we process in whatever ways we do. So the whole, whole first verse, we were there together from the beginning. Through it all, we always found a way. One day as we made our way, it all fell apart. And now I'm not really sure. Now I'm not sure how to get my start. That is very much like if you look at a platonic relationship, if you look at friendships, if you've been with anybody for a long time, even like a best friend, you know that once you leave them, it's different. When you're in college and you don't have your same friend group, you really have to start over. When you're finding your first job and you're in your first um, like like working space, you do have to start over. Um, we picked up all the broken pieces. So this is we picked up all the broken pieces. You can read into that however you'd like. Um, and desperately, we built back what we could. So this is a sense of I have to rebuild who I am um, and what we're doing. So the song is very much, oh, I'm thinking about where I am. How do I process this? How do I work through? And then we get to the next verse, which is, um, where are you now? I hope you found your way. And the reason why it's like this, and I should probably get my, let me get notepad out, paint. God dang it. Let me get paint out and start writing these things out and highlighting these things because, because management said so. Oh man, I'm doing great. I'm doing so good. Uh, eh. 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 And that's, that didn't work. That didn't work. Um, one second. Also, I swear I'm very excited. I just can't really, uh, I can't. I can't do a lot of uh, inflection in my voice <laughs> because the more I inflect, the uh, the more uh, the more pain there is. Um, anyhow, let me go ahead and get Paint up, and we have Microsoft Paint going. So, eh. and this time I have a stylus. Okay. I am, I'm, I'm going to be powerful today. I have a stylus to talk through things. Um, hopefully this works out well. Um, let me boop, double check this. Perfect. Okay. Let me switch really fast. So, uh, one of the things that we did talk about in the song was I wanted to talk about, uh, it was processing self versus caring for others. So the whole first verse one, verse two is about self and the chorus is really not different. All three choruses are the same, except they have, they talk, let me make this bigger for you all. Um, transition. So the choruses are all the same, but the only thing that changes is, is uh, musical, musical notes, which I do have the musical notes. Uh, that we'll talk about. I have the whole, I have the project still up and uh, we can talk about that. But I also want to just focus on the lyrics for a bit uh, because I was, it was pretty, it was pretty intentional. Uh, the, the lyrics were very, very intentional. Uh, so the chorus is the same every single time. Where are you now? I hope you found your way. I hope that you are happier and things are going your way. And I really like the line. I hope that you are happier, that you are happier and things are going your way. Um, this line to me is really important. Um, I don't, I don't have any malice towards most. I, yeah, I don't have malice towards most people. I'm not going to say anything. There are a couple people. At some point, I will release a funnier song. Um, also, I hope it's. I hope I've also made it clear. Like I really do enjoy ballads. Um, a lot of the song I saw during the premiere, people were like, oh, this is very much like boy band. And I was very inspired by boy bands. I was very inspired by um, uh, writers, uh, composers, writers like J.J. Lin, who this is this name came up a lot for me when I was thinking about uh, the Chinese ballad. Uh, J.J. Lin very much. So I also tried to pull in some uh, some other stuff. But for chords wise, quarterly. I pulled together, I tried to incorporate like your classic 
uh, your golden road. But this is also like a pretty simple song if you wanted to sing it. Um, I really wanted this song to be sung by other people. And the reason why I think this is really, really important even as of now, and uh, I didn't I didn't think it would happen this way, but with all of the graduations happening, with all of these people leaving their corpos, you as an audience and like even myself, I don't know where some of these people are going. And uh, no matter where they're going, no matter what the circumstances, we all do want the best for them. Uh, whether it be your Oshi or whether it be someone that's like immediately within your network, um, at the end of the day, like these are people who are trying to make a living and doing their best. And uh, I want to highlight the, I hope that you are happier and things are going your way. Um, and so when you go through those lines, I hope that you are happier and things are going your way. And then you go back to the self it's, I still remember all the times we shared, I hope that you are happier today. Um, that's not to say like, just dismiss the feelings. The feelings need to be processed. The feelings need to be there. Um, uh, yeah, so then an interesting line that I came across, uh, and I emphasized this when I was talking about Isla's song, feelings stay the same. And I think the feelings part is really, really hard to process. Uh, personally, when you think about past relationships, it's, um, Oh, actually, let's just switch to, um, let me, studio mode, and let's actually just switch to the song really quickly. Oopsies, I didn't have my normal transition. One second. Um, and then let me go ahead and bring up uh, desktop one. This is da -da 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 -da. studio mode. And let me make sure I bring up the right desktop. <clears throat> And then let me shrink this down so we can talk about it again. Boop. 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 Okay. Uh, this can for a graduation theme song. Uh, Cause we usually have graduation songs for some reason when I was younger. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. Like graduation songs I don't think are incredibly uncommon. Um, we're just gonna put my notes here for now. So this is actually the whole project that you're looking at right now. Uh, let me go ahead and pull this this project up um and let me move this over so i can see what's going on okay. yeah um so let's go through and let me make sure the audio does work okay so then let's get to um i can talk a little bit about the first verse and the music pieces behind the first verse uh, let me turn this off for a second Okay, even that sound, the first sound is also very intentional. Uh, that first sound, uh, one, we're in the key of A flat. Oh, not that sound. Uh, that is the five chord, so that's a five bop. I wanted something to make an anticipatory sound, something that draws your attention. Um, when I first made that chord, I wanted something that was going to draw in the audience. Uh, generally, as a string player, you, it's really difficult to crescendo, or I think crescendo on the same note anyways. I think they can. I don't know. Woodwind players just blow harder. Um, but I wanted a really, really dramatic chord, so I picked that first chord. Uh, I, again, I'm sorry. I wish I could say this like more enthusiastically, but right now, uh, we're, we're, get, we're getting through it. Also, I want you to listen really carefully to the piano part here. So the piano part in this section is actually incredibly complex. So uh, I'll, I'll like talk through the words together from the beginning. Huh. Also notice how much movement there is in the piano part. I wanted this first piano part to sound like there was a lot of excitement and a lot of joy in it. So even if you just listen to the piano, like it should sound happy. It should sound like things are going. Um, and I wanted to tell a story just with this piano part. And this is when the line, one day as we made our way, it all fell apart. And notice right when you get to fell apart, it just, everything stops with the piano. Also, thank you so much, Red. I appreciate it. Uh, we're actually going through and talking about what, uh, how I made the song. I wrote it in an hour uh, and I just kept sending drafts to Isla for like the rest of the day. Um, while the songwriting process took an hour, the actual editing and everything took a lot longer. Um, but 
uh, we're talking about the first verse currently and musically what, uh, what was in my head going into it. So I wrote the piano part first and this is when, when everything drops. And so you can see the piano, just the score wise, everything gets really, really slow. And so here we have our intros. We picked up all the broken pieces and I bring in new instruments. So symbolically for me, piano is like my thing. I go to the, the um, I go to this every single time. Also, thank you so much for gifting. Oh my God. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I swear I am more excited, but I currently can't get too excited and raise my voice because uh, my, my rib cage will be like, hey, Junie, let's not. Um, but thank you so much, Red Burmy. Um, I hope that I I hope it, it does something for you. But thank you, thank you, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Um, so uh, I will have to change the music video because I uploaded the wrong video because I'm a genius. Um, but yes. So the this next part is um, eh. So symbolically, what this means for me. Remember how I said I like. I like movie music that can tell a story and I'm going to turn this off for a second um, because I, I got to get through this eh. notifications. Um, so remember how I said when I listen to movie scores, I want to make sure that I am able to see the story based on just the instruments. So in this first part, I purposely picked a piano because you all know me as a piano VTuber. This is a journey that I took on my own. I chose to take and I did pick up friends along the way. But as I say, we picked up all the broken pieces. You get the string section to come in. This is supposed to be symbolic of this is a new start for me. And so the choice Although I won't say that originally when I said this, I just wanted sustains when I wrote this first section. Um, but I think symbolically the sustains make sense. Like everything was exciting and now things are a little dark. Like we're, we have to start over and fix everything, which is why I chose a lot of sustains here. This is basically just half notes and et cetera. Um, also, I do plan on trying to release a piano version of this as well because I want this song to be sung by people who like need to sing it. Uh, again, the reason why I wrote the song in an hour was because I didn't have music to help me vent through what I was going through. Um, I wasn't, I, I just wasn't happening. Like the Chinese songs weren't cutting it. Um, I wanted songs about platonic relationships. And this is not like this song is about platonic relationships and just time. It's not sad. It's not happy. It's just, it is what it is. And um, I couldn't find anything like that. So I just wrote it because that's generally how I do things. If I can't do it, on my, like I can't find it, then I'll just write something and make something up. Also, there is a lot of tuning. I tuned all of this before I sent it to Rias to mix and master. Thank you, Rias. Ah, um, recording this. So let me let me actually talk a bit about the recording process. A lot of the so a lot of what I have here. Um, I'm sorry I made you cry. Also, I'm sorry I uploaded the wrong version. Um, a lot of the vocals that I have here are from the very first take. Um, I don't know what happened, but I tried to re-record this song. Oh, is the music too quiet for anyone? Let me turn that up more. Um. Where are you? So for this song, I actually, um, I couldn't do takes after I wrote it. Um, so I, I just couldn't get into the same headspace. Uh, I don't know what headspace I was in, but most of my recordings after the original take for the first verse, I could not match again. Um, yeah, it was, 
so a lot of like these takes, these vocal takes are very much like the day that I, I wonder if there's information on when I uh, recorded this actually. Um, but this, this original first take, like that, that was the first take I, I, I sang through it and then I tuned it later. But, um, most of the first half of the song before the key change, uh, and the time change is all, um, is all the first take. And even when I tried to re-record things just to get better tuning and to get better phrasing, I just was not able to do it. Like even trying to sing the, we were there together from the beginning. Um, I, it's just, there's, there's something tender about the way that I recorded it the first time. And I just don't know how to emotionally get back into that space. Um, I know that after I finished writing the whole thing, um, I just cried for a little bit. It was, it was rough. Um, and I don't, I don't know how to get back into that headspace. Um, it was very challenging. And I think in terms of headspace for this song, it will take a, I don't know if I'll ever be able to exactly match what kind of headspace I was in when I originally did this, but I hope that I captured it well. Uh, yes, because any recording that I did after it, it either sounded too angry, it sounded too bold and straightforward, it sounded too timid, it sounded it like it just wasn't enough. The first take that I did of this song truly was the best take because it was the most raw. It was the most, it just had the most emotional capacity to the song. Um, like when I went back and listened to it, I was like, oh, this, this is the take. Um, and I don't know how to get it back. Um, is this, is this my first take? No, this is the piano. Um, I think this is the original take. Yeah, so you can see when I took it. This is, I took, I made this take in December. Um, let me go ahead and just play this take. One second. Uh, this is untuned. This will be, basically this is the raw, raw, raw. We were let me uh, mute everything and just solo the verse line. We were there together from the beginning. Through it all, we always found a way. Yeah, there's something about the delivery on the through it all, we always found a way. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what I did there. Um, it just sounds so tender. Um, it sounds reflective. And anytime I try to do it now, like, it sounds too bold. It sounds too... I don't know. Like, maybe it just needed to have that sense of... Um, candor, I suppose. Um, yeah, and uh, I was I was really actually waiting because to get the music video and stuff, I had to to wait for the whole process. Um, but through it all, we always found a way. Yeah, there's something about the delivery on that line, and then here. One day as we made our way, it all fell apart. There was something about the it all fell apart that I could not emulate anymore after that. Um, I just, I really have no idea what happened. Um, but I just, I stuck with this original audio from the very beginning because I just could not record it um, and get the same, same quality. Because they're like, if I sing it now, we um, were there. that's not me singing it. <clears throat> We were there together from the beginning. Through it all, we always found a way. One day as we made our way, it all fell apart. Like, the thing is, there's like too much body to it. Um, and I'm not sure how to undo the body of all of it. Um, so yeah, like the, the original takes are still there basically. Um, let me go back and let's get to the first chorus. Uh, hold on, I need to make sure we're using everything from here.
so everything you're hearing right now is all raw vocals. Um, there is no mixing and mastering on them because I turned it all off and I'm like reused to it. Someone asked earlier, um, is it better to have someone mix your voice than doing it yourself? The reason why I had Rias do this was in when I recorded this in March, um, I have very little to no understanding of the mixing and mastering process. Um, so I was like, I just got to find someone to mix this for me because I really can't do it. Um, and so uh, I that's when I contacted Rios. I'm like, Rios, can, can you mix this for me? Um, now I have a better understanding of mixing. And uh, the rationale for me to have someone else mix this was I don't know how many tools or what tools I need to get this to sound right. And I don't trust myself to do this right because I'm still learning. Um, I'm comfortable tuning and timing my own work, but I just was not going to get the mixing and mastering portion correct. That was the really, really hard part for me. And I, I was not going to get it right on the first try. And so um, after Rius mixed it, uh, like he was like, you want to watch me mix it? I'm like, yeah, I'd love to watch it. And like, that's when I was like, okay, I get how to do the mixing and mastering process. Um, so basically Rios taught me how to mix and master my own song. And maybe I will like give a hand at trying to mix and master it again on my own. Um, but we'll figure it out. Uh, so yeah, generally now I will, if I have the time, I will mix and master my own work. Uh, but if I'm also short on time, uh, I will not mix and master uh, because yeah, there was also some other time stuff, but uh, you know, rib cage happening really screwed things up. Uh, let's go to the chorus. Oh, music video wise for the chorus. Uh, let me, even though I have the wrong music video, um, let me pull up the, the music video because Isla did a really great job pulling the music video together. Um, I, so the people that I contacted for this, uh, I basically said, this is the song and that's basically all I got. Have at it friends. And so, eh. and then let me go ahead and eh, eh. in this section of the music video, Isla don't murder me because we have the wrong version. Um, so in this music video, basically, uh, Isla was like, Junie, what do you want this to look like? And I was like, uh, I want it to be like a sunset and like cliffs and oceans. And so thematically what Isla did throughout this whole thing was really cool because, uh, she basically made it so that it's like a sunset and a sunrise, um, so sun rising as we start the song, sun setting at the end of the song, as we are moving on and working through what our relationships look like. Um, so uh, thematically, I thought it was really cool that Isla tossed that in there and made that happen. Uh, so thanks, Isla. Again, I will definitely be reposting this with all the correct information in the right video. Um, I was just not there. Um, anyhow, so. So that's the mix that Ryus did. And then going back to what we have here. Um, Isla really is the best. Um, the artist, Shaz, um, I basically just found them on VGen. And uh, I, I really like this style of art in general. But also one day I will just get like a normal commission piece. Uh, one day. One day. Uh, I'll do that eventually. Ah, Ableton, come back. Um, so, uh, yes, there is that piece as well. Uh, we are at the lines. Where are you now? Hope you found your way. Hope that you are happier. Um, so basically after this point, let's go to the middle of the song. Okay, let's actually the things are going your way. I still remember all the time you shared. So in terms of all the parts that are happening right now, these are all the vocal lines that I have. <laughs> um, so the vocal lines that I have are, this is the main line. Then I have harmony one. Um, if you're wondering, like, how do I just do this? I literally just sit there and go, ooh. Um, 
yes, there are softwares that you can use to, to put in harmonies, but uh, I uh, I have ideas for what my harmonies are supposed to be. So these two lines do go together, audio 14 and 15. Um, hi, SD, you're good. I uploaded the wrong version. You're going to have to watch it again later. Um, but we're going to ignore that for now. I should probably do that like right now as we're talking. Like actually though. Um, so then we can link people to the right one. I might do that. Um, but then we also have here. Things are gone your way. So. I don't know if I've said it before. I really enjoy making backing vocals and supporting vocals for everyone. Um, yeah, I there is something special about providing good vocal supports. I don't know what it is. I, I genuinely enjoy it. Um, yeah, I, I really love providing good vocal supports to people. Um, when you're able to like uplift someone else's voice, uh, just by providing like some good harmonies and like bringing out their best qualities and to know what those best qualities are. Like, I think that to me speaks volumes on one's, um, on one's ability to like blend and, uh, yeah, one's ability to blend basically. Uh, so, oh man, I, uh, uh, can I, can I re-upload? Oh man. Oh man. You know what? We're going to, we're going to do this right now. Uh, Isla's going to kill me. Isla's going to kill me. Isla's going to be like, Junie, what's wrong with you? I am more afraid of Isla than anything else from this. Um, yep. Cause I'm an idiot, idiot sandwich. God dang idiot sandwich. There's no way to do a re-upload. Oh God. I'm just gonna delete it for now. All right, comment section, I'm sorry. It, it's gonna go, the comment section is gonna go. Uh, please forgive me, chat. Um, please, please forgive me. We're just gonna, we're gonna, let me copy paste this and then start a new one. Um, oh my God, oh my God, I am so, so smart. Like, I don't, I don't think you realize how smart I am. Okay, I can't do it, I can't multitask. Um, but uh, yes. So where was I? Um, the rising sun. Oh man, I've just digressed so far. Uh, let me let me put this away. Uh, ba 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 ba. But okay, let's go back to the song. Uh, musically, what was going on? I have the vocal parts here. Um, let's talk about my favorite part of the song. Ah, uh, my favorite part of the song I hope that you is right here. I, whoa, where are you now? I hope you found your way. Okay, so I hate this instrument. I hate this instrument so much. Okay. My favorite part of the song is right here. The where are you now? I hope you found your way. Um, As like, I have how many heart lines? I have one, two, three, four, five harmonies. So that's a five harmony plus the melody. That's six parts. Um, Repremiere the new one after stream that, you know, that's valid. We'll just, we'll just prep it at the end of stream. Then we're going to braid into it. Uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, so what I did here, um, I really wanted a big hit. Uh, I am like a musical theater person. I have some musical theater background, but not a lot of musical theater background. Um, but... I always love when the music just stops and then everyone sings. And so this is supposed to be, where are you now? I wanted this to be a big finish, but also I want this to, I wanted it to, um, I wanted it to sound like a new beginning. So even though I haven't actually changed the words of the chorus at all from any of the choruses, um, this is the song structure is more so like a typical Western pop song. Uh, the other reason why it sounds like a typical Western pop song is because this is my first song and I didn't want to do anything crazy. Um, I 
I'm still learning as of December when I wrote this, I was still doing a lot of learning around Ableton, like with time changes, with instruments, with mastering and mixing and mastering. And so I wasn't able to do anything wild with this. Like I wasn't able to do, you know, crazy time signature changes. Um, and so uh, I was basically doing a lot of learning through this song. And because of that learning, I wasn't able to do anything wild. I tried to do a ch time change here. And I believe there is a brief uh, time change that increases, or not time change, but a tempo change. It very gradually increases the tempo. Um, and that was a pain in the butt because I didn't know how to get Melodyne to work with that. And that's the other reason why I got a mixing and mastering person. But I also ended up figuring out how to mix and master. Uh, Got to take care of some stuff. You all have a one. Thank you so much, Red Burn. Burmy. It is Burmy, right? Yes. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. It is greatly appreciated. We will do things with that. Uh, we'll, we'll invest more in getting actual equipment and stuff. Um, but, um, yes. Yeah, so the, what I asked Rias to mix the, the song, uh, I asked him like, can you make this bigger? And, uh, that part was a me problem because I didn't have enough instrumentation and I didn't know what else to add. So this obnoxious instrument that we just heard, this thing is obnoxious. Like I, I hate it. Like I hate this thing so much, but it is the sound that I want. I hate that instrument so much. But I wanted that sound because I wanted it to sound like a, um, a very rounded synth. Ah, uh, it's obnoxious, but it works when it's all blended together. So when you look at the version at the end of this song, when it comes out, also, hello, rabbit. So Rius tamed the, the instrument a lot. Um, did a lot of editing on that to make it sound rounder. Um, and it does bring out a different quality and like it just helps make this section pop more. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, it sounds like, it, yeah, it, it is basically an 8-bit instrument. I need to give my hand 8-bit stuff at some point. Um, so yes, we have that section. Um, it is annoying. It's the instrument on its own is kind of annoying. I think if I mixed it with a bunch of 8-bit sounds like video game sounds, I could make it work, but for this song, it really is out there. Uh, for the sound that I wanted, I did want something that would pop and be extra, but I also needed it to make sure that it was going to blend with the rest of it. And so it's really hard finding that. Like it's, I think picking the right instrument is the equivalent of finding the right colors and uh, for for making something work. Um, so that's, that's how I picked that instrument. Uh, the bass line, I, I actually don't like my bass line that much. I did a lot of copy pasting and I feel like I needed to do a better job of finding like the right harmonies and stuff and, and leading with the bass. Um, but again, this is good. I think this is good enough where I was like, okay, I can release this. Uh, the other really scary thing about writing your own music, writing your own lyrics is it is an incredibly vulnerable process. Um, this was, I feel like even when I write academic papers, there is a certain degree of vulnerability of saying, this is my work, but the work is not incredibly personal to me. It's sometimes it's personal to me, uh, but oftentimes I'm writing with different methodologies, different authors. And like I'm saying, this is my idea and this is based on like literature and what I found. But what I find about writing my own music and choosing my own subject matter is if it's bad, like one, if it's, if it's not well received, it can be a very ouchy process. Like it feels very, very personal. Um, especially with this song, because the topic matter is very much, this is how I'm personally feeling about the experience. Um, it, it is a very, very personal thing. And because it's so personal, um, like if it just like it doesn't do what it needs to, then it is what it is. While I fully recognize at this point, uh, you can't take anything too personally. Like you really can't. Um, as a songwriter, it's like you really got to pour your heart out into what you're doing. And I also know that like for people who are writing other people's commissions, like 
yeah, you don't have to pour your heart out. But as like my own song, as my first own original, like, ah, <sighs> it's scary. It's very scary putting my feelings out there into the universe in such a way. And I'll probably do it again. I, I've been trying to write more stuff for Isla and I, um, yeah, I think Isla is like an instrumentalist or like a, I guess when I'm thinking about music, let me go ahead and, and play some background music while, while we're here. Um, like when I'm thinking about producing music and writing music, uh, I think about like the people and the voices that we're using as their own instruments. Oh, Ableton needs to come back. Um, as their own instruments. It is, uh, it is interesting to think about like Isla as an instrument can do what? Um, how can she operate as her own instrument? How do I bring out the best qualities of Isla? How do I make Isla sound awesome? What is a song that Isla will be awesome on? Um, and so when I'm thinking about those kinds of things, uh, it is, it's a very, very different process than how I usually go about my, my writing. Um, let me make sure that's the right line. So yes. And when I do want to write more stuff, I do have to think of topic matters that are fun. Like as, as Circus had said, like, yeah, there's some songs that just want a good, like a slap that needs to slap. And for me, like that slap, like I, I just want the song to slap is my intro. There is nothing deep about my intro or like, yeah, my intro screen like that. That's just like, I wanted something groovy. Um, I wanted it to just like, yeah, I want you to bop. Um, and it feels so good. <laughs> like, I love my introduction. Uh, it's also helpful that I don't get the copy written every single time I play it. Um, but, like, even my old one, I really enjoyed. But my new one, like, that that one feels good. And so this song, though, um, I really... I wanted people to feel things. I feel a lot. I wanted them to understand what exactly I'm feeling and how exactly... I process through things and I wanted this to be an opportunity for people to learn about who Junie is and how I work through things, how I operate. Um, basically I want you to know who I am through this song and through this experience. Um, yeah, I just, I just wanted you to get to know me a bit more and how I work through things that I am not as much as I joke about like, uh, as much as Island, I joke that like, Judy, you just gotta feel it. You know, I, this is my feeling it. Am I feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Yes, I'm very much feeling it. Probably too much, way too many feels. Um, I should, probably should stop, I shouldn't stop feeling. Feeling is important. Uh, make sure that you feel things. Um, feeling is, is very important, so do feel things. Um, but this is, this is me saying like, I do feel things. Uh, I do process these things. And I want people to know, and it's okay to work through these things. Um, so that is that is where the song came from. That is how the song came about. And that's why I wrote it. Um, I wrote it because I wanted people to know, like, it's okay to feel things. It's okay um, to have these feelings. Um, and like, I just want people to know that no matter what's happened, I'm not upset with anyone. It is life life happens um and to be upset about something like this it's like when life happens and just friendships fade away um it's okay like i i hope this song people will go and reach out to someone they haven't heard from or seen in a long time and be like hey how are you um what happens after that is a very different story but at the very least did you put yourself out there and did you put yourself out there and did you provide an opportunity for that person to reciprocate? And I think even through this, some of my most appreciated friendships that I have, um, I have reached out to people and like people do reciprocate and reach out. And um, I, I have very much just, uh, yeah, it's like, it's a nice opportunity to reconnect with people. Um, should I set this as another premiere? <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna set this as public. We're not gonna set this as an instant premiere. Um, we're just gonna publish this for now, so then we'll we'll take everyone over there. Um, but uh, I want people, I want people to be okay with it. Like I also know that 
research has shown a lot of people want more subject matter on platonic relationships and um this is about platonic relationships i am not in a relationship um with with anyone here that's weird i sh feel like i shouldn't have to say that um but i think it's okay to think about friendships and like when friendships fall apart um when friendships fall apart like it is sad like it's not something you just get over easily it's just you really need to take time uh, it's, it, and this is to say like a best friend relationship, eh, I don't know, best friend with like partnered girlfriend, uh, very, very different kinds of things going on. But, um, I think it's still important to think about those things. So, uh, the reason Rai wrote this and even the whole fever dream of writing this in an hour. So this goes back to the question that I asked Circus, like, was this a fever dream that you wrote in like an hour? Um, I was trying to figure out if my process is normal and I think as like someone who's starting writing it's probably a normal process to be like oh I, I just don't have ideas and even what i say to people when they are writing their own work and even when i'm writing and my pacing is there are some days where i'm just gonna sit at my desk and be like why do i exist and what am i doing with my life so i don't i think this is a very the whole i wrote this in an hour probably will never happen again i truly don't know how i wrote this whole song in an hour like even thinking about the whole process it really was a fever dream of holy god how did i write this in an hour um i i still very much am confused about how i wrote it in an hour uh and it's it came together though it definitely came together let me go ahead and remove this uh Yes, it, I don't, I still don't know how it came together in an hour, but it came together somehow, and we are going to delete this video now. Ha 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 ha! Delete. What the? Cancel. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me double check I'm deleting the right video. Okay, this is the right video. We're deleting this one. We're deleting this one. Okay, delete. I understand. Delete forever. Um, sometimes everything just does line, right? Yeah. And um, I, I think for this music, like this song, and even the way that Isla built the song out, like I, I love, like I love it. <laughs> um, and even if it doesn't get a lot of follows, if it doesn't get a lot of views, that's okay. I, the thing is, I tried, right? Like if I'm gonna do my own musical analysis of stuff, then I ought to put myself out there in the process. And I've also, I think a lot of this is, um, a lot of this is just like the course of the past year of practicing and, and working, right? Like I don't do a lot of my musical shorts anymore, but being able to put those shorts out and think about mixing, um, writing my own stuff in the past year, it's been a journey. And uh, if anything, like this song is this year long journey. And so I said it before at the beginning that the songs that we released this month, uh, Breakout, Believer, and Where Are You Now? They do all go together. Um, I think they very much do fit um, because they all are on a similar subject matter. Um, you think the lost friends are, uh, I, I don't know, Vijayo. I mean, I hope they're doing okay. I hope that I, I truly do hope they're achieving their goals and, and doing whatever, but makes them happy. Um, yeah, I really do hope that they are happy. Uh, that they're finding their happiness, that they're achieving their goals, that the decisions they made, that they're happy and satisfied with them and they're having, they have everything that they want to be full and fulfilled. Uh, I hope so. I truly do hope so. Um, so like even, yeah, 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 I hope they're happy. I want them to be happy. Like, that's the whole point of this song. Be happy. Like, you've, you've done what you needed to to get where you are. You are where you are for a particular reason. Uh, you are in the spaces because you deserve to be in those spaces. Um, you earned what you have. Uh, very, while I say I very much have a lot of dumb luck, um, that is a self-esteem problem that I need to work through. That um, the people who are in the positions of where they are, they absolutely deserve where they are and they've earned that right to be there. There are incredibly talented people all over the place. 
And I hope each of them are able to achieve and get the platform they need to be able to show the world what they have. Um, and I hope that they're able to show the world what they have and what they can do. And that's at the core of this song, at, of what I wrote. That is what I want to communicate. Um, that whether it is my personal friends, whether it is your Oshi, whether it is um, someone who just dropped off the face of the earth, uh, I, I want them to be happy. I want you to go achieve what you want to do. Uh, as a friend, that is the, literally the least that I can do. Um, yeah, like as, as a friend, that is what my responsibility is. And uh, I think I've talked about it before a couple of times. My therapist was like, Junie, why do you have such high standards of friendship? Um, I, I think friendship, like I say this at the end of every stream, but I appreciate your time. I appreciate you for being here. Um, and like, that's, that's like, I really do mean that. Um, there are many other ways that you can spend your time and your friends can also do that. Um, I started tearing up by the end of the song. It is very beautiful and I love, thank you, Rama. I, I hope that, you know, I hope that you, you, it does sit with people in such a way. Um, and yeah, I think this is much more mature topic matter and not that like, m not mature and like, Ooh, it's sussy, you know, like, Oh, look, Junie's, I'm not going to go there. Um, but it's, it's more mature in the way that, um, how you're processing feelings and how you're looking at relationships. And, uh, even again, with going back to many of the relationships that we have with even our own Oshis, like, where did they go? Um, I just saw graduation today. I will not specify who, but people graduate. Where do they go after they graduate? Some people like there are, there are other content creators who have very, very similar overlap, but what happens to them? I hope they are doing well. I hope they are finding their happiness. Um, as like, even if it's not in the VTubing sphere, whether it be outside the VTubing sphere, I want them to find joy in their life and sure. There are examples of like when you reach out to a friend and they're just a terrible friend. Um, that's a different story. That's like a whole other song. I will write something about that someday. Um, I have qualms, but um, that will be a song. I'm not sure if I'll release that. But at the same time, um, I think, yeah, be a good friend. Be a good, um, be a good uh, community member to the people that you have. Um, and yeah, that's, that's all this song is about. And that's why I repeated the chorus four times. <laughs> Isla, um, I also say this, Isla's so powerful. Like I was up one day and she was, um, she was just like rendering the stuff. And I'm like, Isla, did you just finish this all in one night? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, God dang, Isla, like sleep. Like there's so many times where, oh, I shouldn't have yelled. Um, there are many times where I was like, God dang, like just Isla sleep. Um, and that's, um, like Isla, Isla's incredibly powerful. Very, very powerful. Um, I don't know if, I, I don't know if I'll ever write like a hate song. I, I'm not going to ever have like a Taylor Swift moment. I think it's, it's, but that's between me and that person. Um, are you going every time you riz up a song? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, are you going to, oh man, I, I don't know if I'm, I, my goal is not to make you cry. Like, listen, listen to my intro. That's just like a fun song. Um, if anything, though, I do want my songs to have substance. And if anything, I hope I got substance. Like, I, this song, I don't want you to just listen to this once. Like, tw like this song, <laughs> for lack of better terms, <laughs> um, this sh song should be like a fine, dark chocolate. Um, I want you to sit and think on the song. Like as you eat it, like don't just, don't just swallow it. It's like think. Um, I want the song to sit. I want the song to take time and space. Uh, I want it to create some kind of change. And that's like the same thing I say with like all my journal articles that I write and anything that I write, like it should have impact. Uh, and even if it doesn't get a widespread audience base, at the very least, if it helps even a couple people think about the relationships that they have, that's okay. And um, I hope that this is more of like a love song than anything to platonic friendship and to friendships. And I, again, I really hope it encourages people to just be like, hey, insert friend name here. I hope you're doing well. I miss you a lot. And 
that that's that you can end it there that's once you once you put it onto their plate that's on them to decide um but again that is a them question not a you question and what happens after that point is very much up in the air um i will say that i have had friends where i have reached out and while i'm also not very good at responding quickly um like you just don't hear from that person for like a month like ugh. um chocolate milk tea i will include an instrumental um i have a karaoke version so if you'd like to sing it i will put the karaoke version in the description uh once the new one comes out uh i do hope that people do cover this i am not going to monetize i mean if it gets monetized it's great um but yeah i really want people to sing this like this is the reason why i wrote this was because i did not have uh there was no song that i wanted that conveyed what i was feeling um so yeah both believer and this made me cry in the same week yeah i it's it's been a roller coaster of a year but even like trying to get all these songs in this month it's like god dang like when do we release all of this um an anniversary month is i think the best month to do so so um yeah i and again all the songs go together like breakout is a song about you know it's been about a year and it's about time that we we figured some stuff out uh believer is very much a different way of processing through it and like everyone has left me i'm going to kick their booty and show them who's boss and i am all for it like yes yes isla um and then this song is let me take a deep breath uh this song is yes you we i am alone so i guess if isla is um retribution my song is i am alone i am okay with being alone i will figure it out and i want you all to be happy two sides of the same coins of what do we do with our loneliness and I think that's what makes all of the songs that we have for this month very refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's, I think, that's why I'm really happy with, um, like, all the success that Isla has had and where we are. Um, so, uh, would I like this to do super well and, like, get, like, I don't know, 5,000? Like, actually, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm aiming for, like, 500 right now. <laughs> um, but, like would would i love to see this song explode yeah um i want to see people i'd love to see the song go out into the world i would love to see people cover it i'd love to see people relating to it but i'm also okay with just you all if it's if it's just here it is what it is and i'm happy to have at least put my foot out there and tried writing because you know at least i gave it a shot and let me go back to my wonderful god dang um my my beautiful beautiful sheet ahem <clears throat> excuse me let me uh let me get back to this um but even even if it reaches like what four three hundred people that's okay it's not about the numbers at the end of the day it's about the friends that we make along the way that's really cheesy but uh i i genuinely do mean that uh i again as i think many of you do know i did not come into this like oh i'm going to make it huge you know, I, I just work here, man. I just want to get by. I'm having a great time just hanging out. You know, it really is him. It really is. Oh, let me, let me zoom in. I just work here. Okay. This is, this is really just the Junie vibe at this point. I, I just work here and that's okay. That is a okay. I work here and it's fine. And, uh, yeah. Uh, let's get Apollo and Ryus to sing it. Ooh. Uh, Cass, where are you now? Got me thinking about friends I haven't spoken to in years. It hurts so good. I, I'm glad. Uh, okay. You know, I'm not glad that you hurt so good, but I'm very glad it is asking you and asked to do those things. Let's get Apollo and Ryus to sing it. I have other plans with those two. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, I very much have other plans with those two. Um... Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, and you've done more than most. Uh, people will talk about making a song. You actually managed to do it. That's it. I had a lot of help. I've had like, I had 
Yeah. Platonic friend smooch. Oh, thank you, SD. I appreciate the platonic friend smooch. Um, eh, gosh, uh, that was that was too much. Let me get some water. Ugh. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I guess writing my own song. It's um, it's been building up to it. Like we've we've slowly been getting there. Like last year, we did a lot of shorts. Um, I've been like working through other things and so, uh, I feel like making like scaffolding all of this. I don't know. So I guess in the process of writing my own music, uh, like writing music, it starts with one listening. Like it's basically my lit review. Okay. This is my lit review. Excuse me. This is listening to other music. And listening to other music is important because you get your vibe of what you feel. So once you have your own music made, though, like once you're listening to your own music, like what do you want to write? What sounds are compelling to you? And once you find sounds you like, uh, I can't fit compelling on here. Once you find the sounds that you like, then you can start working with software. The software is your DAW. And from the DAW, then you can be like, OK, is it is it live? Is it Fruity Loops or FL Studios? Um, then you figure out what tools you have and from the tools you can then figure out, you know um, You don't know. I don't know why I keep saying, you know, the one thing that really bothers me with people who say, you know It's like no, I actually don't know. I need you to I need you to articulate that um, But from there it was like, okay, what can I write and picking up short projects And the short projects I think have been really really helpful um, like when I stopped doing the shorts um and trying to like crank those out, I had a lot more time to work through other projects. Um, so Believer Boys Band, come that would be pretty fun. I, I do want to put together a boy band. Uh, I really, really want to put together a boy band. I think it'd be amazing if there was just like VTuber. I mean, there is a, there are a couple boy bands already out there, but um, I really want to put together a boy band group that just covers a bunch of women, like femme songs. Uh, I think it'd be hilarious to see like Heavy rotation covered by a bunch of guys. I feel like Believers would be a really good song for a boy band, though. Like, I'd want to hear it as like, da 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 da. Um, oh man, can I do it? Whispering into the night. Um, like really, really grungy sound to it. So, but um, yeah, I, I have to write that up. I have to write that up. Um, that one would not be a ballad. Like, I feel like if I were to do a boy band cover of Believers, uh, I'd really got to do it right. I I'd really, really got to gotta find out how to do it right. Uh, because that's Isla. She's, like, right there. And if I didn't do it right, like, I don't know. Isla, I remember me. <laughs> um, so, eh. But anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. Uh, let me get through the rest of this song. Uh, and then... Uh, we can we can figure out the rest of this. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh my god. Let me make sure 18 minutes ago. Is this the right version? This is the right version this time. Please tell me. Okay, this is the right version. Um Okay. Uh let's let me move this version onto my other monitor. No, stop it. This is this is fine. Uh, we can listen to this from here. Okay. So I also I just really want to emphasize how well of a job Isla did in capturing all of this and her typography. Uh, we're gonna raid into this because I can. Um, I really need to stop saying that. Um, also, fully get yeah I. For me, I think I see it as growth and I am happy with this song. I am very happy with how it turned out. Sometimes there are places where I'm like, I'd like to re-record this. I would like to do a couple of other things with it. But for the most part with the song, I'm really pleased with how it came out. Uh, at some point I will need to do like a, I need to like do my own, uh, what am I, what am I looking for? I want to do my own mixing on it. Um, because I think there are some choices that I would make that Reuse wouldn't. 
Um, but I think Rios, like Rios did a great job with it still. Like this is not like, I think we just have different tastes and I think Rius is much better at mixing and fitting in, um, like giving it the more popular VTuber content sound. Like if I were to mix this, I don't necessarily know that I could give it the same like weight and oomph to it. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Isla, again for like Isla, Isla, Isla saw the whole song being made. Like if you, if you go through like Isla's and I's chat, like you'll see there's this whole line of draft one, draft two, draft three. And, uh, this was like, I don't know why this happened. But whenever I'm writing music, it always happens at 11 a.m., like an hour before lunch. And this was the day where I just kept writing through my lunch. And I'm like, I just, I have to finish this. If I don't finish this today, then it's just going to be gone. Um, and so, yeah. And then my roommate started singing it around the house because I kept singing it. And that's how I know I think I did okay. I think that's how I know I did okay. When other people start singing it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when other people start seeing it, it's like, this is catchy. Uh, oh, the chords for this song. Let me go through the chords. So this song's actually pretty simple. Um, it's a super simple song. Uh, still needs more cow- No, it's, this song is not getting cowbell. I'm putting a hard no on the cowbell. Um, let me go ahead and show you the chords for this song. Let me set up studio mode. I need stinger. I want to go to just chatting. And let us switch and switch. Okay. So the chords for this song are really, really simple. Uh, the, the chords. Uh, Cause when the, yeah, it really does. Um, I picked very simple chords for this song for a reason. I want people to sing this and I want the song to be singable. Um, even, oh! Oh, there's one thing that's not singable in this song. Actually, it is singable. I don't know how I did it. Um, that high pitch, I can actually hit it on a good day. On like most days. Uh, let me get the really high pitch here. The high pitch is like here, I think. That thing, <clears throat> can I do it? Things are going your way. Oh my God, I did it. Huh, can I sing again? Yeah, Um. I will destroy you, Ableton. Stop it. Um. I don't want that obnoxious sound anymore. Okay, what is that sound? Um. Uh, that's a bass. You know what, you know what? I'm just gonna turn you to here. And turn you off so that things are going your way uh yeah what happened the, so the story behind that pitch i was like i am not hitting that pitch again today uh-uh that's it um so that that pitch uh ooh, yeah that one we're not doing that that's it for today um things are going your way that is a high c sharp for me That is this one. That is C sharp one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, basically, I was like, excuse my language. I was like, fuck it. Um, I have a very high pitch to sing and I want to sing it. So I just went for it. And so then I was like, this probably needs tuning. And then I went into Melodyne and I was like, oh my God, the pitch is like right there. It is right in tune. I was shocked. That was not supposed to be that in tune, but it was like right on the money. Uh, it was it was really impressive to me and I was really surprised I hit it. Uh, so it's like, things are going your way. So um, yeah, I was, I can't do that live. When my rib cage and I are on speaking terms, uh, I will do the anniversary karaoke redo because uh, I want to do it again. And I want my rib cage to be okay because I practice those songs a lot. 
and I want to be able to show you that I can do them without dying. <clears throat> and um, and I think that like this this pitch just feels good. Uh, and so yeah, the other ones is the where where are you now? I hope you found your way. Um, those pitches are fun though. The Uh, also, I'm not sure if you all recall, at a couple of the piano streams, I did start playing the melody for this because I was like, hey, hey, they'll never know. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you all ever recall the melodies, but I have played them multiple times. Um, pretty funny for me because I'm like, hey, 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 hey. so I played the... Um, also the chord. Sorry, let me I I really love this chord. Um it's it's this one. It's it's got this um the C sharp in here. It is It is a G sharp major chord. And then what I did for it though is I slapped in the four. And but when I take the to here, when I take the C sharp down, it adds a seven. And it gives us this really like nostalgic sound. And so when I did this to And then I move the bass. So the, the pitches never line up. It's a seven here. And then it resolves. And then we have a normal chord. Um, but we also have the, um, I also tossed in, uh, I, I, when I wrote it, I was like, yeah, I gotta have a golden, uh, a golden road progression. So it's, I want, uh, yeah. And then there's this thing I do all the time. I'll toss in the seven there. Still remember all the times you shared. I miss them all the same. I hope you found your happiness today. And then my favorite section in the song though, um, is I think back on the times we shared and cherish the memories that were there. And sometimes when I think back, I purposely picked these chords. I wasted my time and pretend not to care. Um, wasted my... I wanted it to sound dark and I wanted it to sound like it was foreboding. So... So that's why there's that chromatic downstep there. Remember all the times we shared? I miss them all the same. I hope you find your happiness today. And then it does the half step day. Uh, the key, the song is originally an A flat. And this chord progression, I. Chord progression, I just needed something to sing along to, which is why I picked that chord progression. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like I should talk about like some of the work that Isla did though. Um, one, tell Isla to invoice me. Uh, two, <laughs> uh, the other thing. Um, Isla did such a great job. What I originally was like, Isla, uh, so first off, before I did anything, I was like, hey, Isla, do you think these people can make a good music video? And then she was like, Junie, I can do that. And I was like, but, but, but Isla, and she was like, Junie, just, just tell me how much you want. Like, I was like, okay, Isla, well, tell me how much you want. And then I was like, no, Isla, like, 
your work is no <laughs> and so um she ended up she did this in like 24 hours 48 hours i don't know i was wild um and um i all i was expecting were lyrics i was like isla just here's a picture slap on some lyrics and then isla does like a whole god dang production like hold on let me let me go back to the gaming screen like actually this whole thing with just all the pictures and colors i was like what the f Isla? like this is this is not what i was expecting she was like the next day she was like judy is this good i was like I love the first five seconds of the music video are more than anything that I was expecting. Uh, like, this this whole intro, like, right here, this is already more than anything. I was like, yeah, you know what, Isla, that's fine. Like, I, I trust all of your work at this point. Like, also, I feel like I work with Isla enough where it's like, I, Isla does a lot of great work. If it's, if, like, just, Isla is amazing. Um... Yeah, yeah, so she sent me the- clearly she sent me the version without the lyrics just to make sure that all the vibe was there. Um, and then she sent me the final version, which yesterday in my- my rib cage still hurts and I'm dying. Um, I was like, okay, we're just gonna get this uploaded. <clears throat> and so, uh, she did all the typo typography the next day and again, Isla is really powerful. Um, so yeah, like going through the music video, uh, she was like, do you want the, the sun rising and the sun setting? And I was like, yeah, that's really cool as a concept. Like that definitely makes sense. And even the colors, I was like, I want something. I don't know. Like, I don't want it to be happy. I don't want it to be sad. Like it should just be like, these are the vibes. Um, so that's why I, I picked what we did for this. So yeah, I think, I think I need to stop. I think I need to stop talking. I need to rest. Um, my rib cage is a lot better, but it is not fantastic. Uh, while we are all here, I will most likely not be streaming this week because I need to, my rib cage just needs to heal. Um, I don't think anything incredibly bad has happened. I'm pretty sure it's just a bruise, um, but I do need to just not talk because that makes things worse. And I can do, I mean, clearly I can do a lot more today than I've done, I did on Friday. Um, but that's also because yesterday I just sat there in silence. Um, so for the sake of like, I'm not going to do any more talking for today. Um, there will, I will mostly just put out something that says my rib cage is dying still and I need to, I need to rest. Um, but, uh, please do share. Um, I hope this song, you know, inspires people to go do things, call old friends. Um, I also think it is incredibly relevant as of like everything that's happening in VTubing. Um, so, yeah. And, uh, whew, yeah. Uh, I will work on an efficient recovery. Um, yeah, I also... I had an interesting time at the doctors. Like, it was it was a good... Like, I needed to go to the doctor. I definitely needed to go to the doctor. Um, but, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, let me go ahead and let me rate us on out back into the music video <laughs> um, because I am a genius um, and we're going to pretend that never happened and truly thank you all for helping make this song possible um, I will say it has not been the easiest time but I also know in the same way that Isla's Believers is about the people who have helped her make it like get this far um, where are you now it's about the people who have stuck with us as well. It is not the explicit part of the song, but it is still very much about the people who have continued to stay and who continued to help make our stories possible. And so thank you all for being here and continuing to be with us. Um, I believe this is the end of anniversary month, but did you all know that we have merch? <laughs> if you haven't done so already, you should check out the merch shop. Uh, SC, you should have permissions to be able to pin things. If you can test that out, that'd be wonderful. Um, did you know we have merch? Did you know that merch purchases end in seven days? March is over on the 31st. Please make sure you get your merch, um, while it is still available. Um, 
There is a Juni standee. There's an Isla standee. There are keychains. There are buttons. If you need someone to protect your toilet, I got you. If you need a trash bin guardian, Isla's got you. Please don't actually do that to Isla. I, I joke about putting Isla next to the trash can, but I don't think I'm actually going to do that. Don't tell her that Isla either though. Uh, uh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, we have merch. Also, please do check out all of our original projects this month. Uh, I can go to channel report or block. You can't, I can't, ah, ah, I thought I fixed that. Okay. Um, I will, I will pin this one second. Uh, just kidding. I'm not pinning anything because I am the best. Wow. I'm so good at this. I am so good at this. I'm like the best at streaming. Okay. Let me go ahead and pin this. Um, but, uh, <laughs> Oh, only str okay. Well, we have merch, so seven more days for merch. Uh, this this also should be an indicator of if merch does well this time, we can we will see if we can do more merch in the future. Um, and uh, what else? What else? I think that's it. Make sure that you watch. Uh, we do have our original concert. We have our uh, we have believers for this month. Then we have Where Are You Now? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that we're done this month. Unless there is something that I was not made aware of. That is everything. Um Yeah. Uh I will I will rate us out. And we are gonna go watch the music video in its entirety with all of the god dang god dang uh lyrics this time because I am so smart I am doing actually you know what we can we can raid someone else we can, yeah we'll, we'll raid someone else uh, uh I never stream on Sundays um uh, I don't know who to raid uh okay have I rated Pippa before? No, I did not turn the premiere on because um, I didn't know when the stream was going to end. It's just another video that you can watch. Um, I also don't want Isla to know. Uh, we will raid Pippa. I, I don't think I've actually had the opportunity to raid Pippa because I don't usually stream on Sundays. So, yes. Uh, please go watch the music video. Um... I put in a lot of time and energy. Isla did too. And uh, yeah, that is that is everything. I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful week. I will continue to post on Twitter. I will make recordings. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll be, uh, you know, resting my rib cage because I like generally being comfortable sitting and laying down. Uh, yep, yep, fully wet. We are actually going to be raiding Pippa. Uh, she's reviewing um, clips for her stream. Uh, yeah. And um, eh. and I think eh. I also will put out some shorts this week. Uh, I've got a couple shorts so far. So, yes, this week will just be shorts because I am dying. Um, and yeah, I will focus on resting. Uh, yeah. Thank you all. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you for your time. I know there's other ways, plenty of other ways for you to spend your time in a day, but you choose to spend it here. And I appreciate that greatly. Uh, see you in, a oh my God, you will see me April 1st. Uh, I have to finish that. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye.